What's up, everybody? Happy New Year. This is my first fantasy booking show of 2019. Uh, some of my videos I might mess up and say 2018 by accident, but you got to remember it's uh, 2019 now. So this is my fantasy booking of the 2019 Royal Rumble pay-per-view WWE fantasy booking of the Royal Rumble 2019. Let's let's get it on. Up first is a kickoff matchup. I have Samoa Joe taking on Jeff Hardy. Uh, now their feud is, uh, I don't know, their feud has kind of been beaten to death, but whatever. Kickoff match, Samoa Joe, Jeff Hardy, and a tables match. Tables match. And I'd have Jeff Hardy win. I would have Jeff Hardy win the tables match. I know Samoa Joe just defeated Jeff Hardy on SmackDown, but so what? They can have a tables match at the Royal Rumble kickoff. Jeff Hardy wins it. Up next, by the way, I did fantasy book both Royal Rumble matches, one for the women and one for the men, which I'll get to. Let's go to up next, the uh, Cruiserweight title, Cruiserweight championship on the line, Buddy Murphy defending. Against in a six pack challenge, make it a six pack challenge. That's what I booked. Buddy Murphy defends against Grand Metalik, Tony Nice, Drew Gulak, Tozawa, and Jack Gallagher. That's uh, only five names, I believe. Or six. No, that is six. That is six names. So Tazawa, Jack Gallagher, Drew Gulak, Tony Nese, Graham Metalik, and Buddy Murphy. I would have liked to put Lorenzo Dorado in there, but I didn't. I'm a big fan of his, though. I would have Buddy Murphy win the six pack challenge and retain the Cruiserweight title. Buddy Murphy, still Cruiserweight champion. Now let's go to let's go to the women's tag team title tournament. I booked one. And it's starting at the Royal Rumble. Two matches. Two of the women's first round matches are will be held at the Royal Rumble. I don't think they'll do this in real life. This is just me fantasy booking what I would want to see at the Royal Rumble 2019. So the tournament, I have eight teams, eight women teams, a part of the tournament, eight teams. The first two first round matches are at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Up first, first I'll give you the eight teams that I booked in the women's tag team title tournament. Bailey and Sasha. The Boss and Hug. Or, yeah, I think it's Boss or Hug. Boss and Hug Connection. I don't think it's Hug Hug and Boss Connection. Anyways, Bailey and Sasha. Sadly, Nijax and Tamina are in it. I put them in it because they're still employed and part of the roster. Mickey James and Alexa Bliss, our team, Natalia and Nikki Cross are a team. By the way, Natalia and Nikki Cross, their team name is Let's Play. Uh, the Iconics are a part of it. Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose are a part of it. Dakota Kai, Kyrie Sane are a part of it. And Lacey Evans and Alicia Fox are part of the women's first ever tag team title tournament. 
Uh, Kyrie Sane Dakota Kai's team name is Insane Elbow Kicks. That's their team name. I gave them. So the first two matches are in the first round, will be held at the Royal Rumble. The other tag title women's matches I booked, I will tell you about in my fantasy booking of Elimination Chamber. Because they will be held at the Elimination Chamber, the finals. So the first round match is Dakota Kai and Kyrie Sane take on Lacey Evans and Alicia Fox. Team Insane Elbow Kicks, Dakota and Kyrie Sane win. Go to the second round. The second match for the women's tag team title tournament first round match held at the Royal Rumble 2019 is Bailey and Sasha. Boston Hug Connection taking on Nia Jax and Tamina. I'm going to put over Bailey and Sasha because uh, I'm a fan of theirs. So the Boston Hug Connection advance to the second round where they will take on Team Insane Elbow Kicks. That'd be a great match in real life, by the way. That'd be a great tag match. Those four women, Dakota, Kai, Kyrie, Sane, Bailey, Sasha, that'd be a great tag match. Or a great fatal four-way. So those first two matches I just gave you in the women's tag title tournament were held at the Rumble. The other two will be held on episodes of Raw and SmackDown and then I'll book up to the finals. And when I do my fantasy booking of Elimination Chamber, I will tell you which women's team made it all the way to the finals and who won it. So now let's go to after those two women tag title matches. Let's go to a, a world title match before a Royal Rumble match. Let's go with the Universal title first. Universal Championship on the line. Brock Lesnar defends. I always fantasy book the current champions to defend. Brock Lesnar defending against Bobby Lashley. I would put Lashley in there because the guy's a main event talent. Brock defends against Bobby Lashley and Braun Strowman. I would have Brock Lesnar retain. I just would. You're paying him all that money to appear at WrestleMania. Just have him drop the damn title at WrestleMania. So Brock retains a universal title at the Royal Rumble 2019. And Lashley's not in it, but I'm pretty sure he'll defeat Braun anyway. So now let's go to the, the women's. Last year, the women got to main event Royal Rumble. This year, let's let the men main event, even though it doesn't matter to me which Rumble match main events. I'll be happy either way, but I'm going to go with the women's Royal Rumble. I'm going to fantasy book it now. Number one, number one woman in the 2019 women's Royal Rumble, number one is Bailey. I know she had a tag match earlier. Women's tag title tournament match. But so what? A lot of talent can have matches in the past. And they still appeared in the Rumble. So, no. What am I saying? Bailey is not number one. I uh, messed up. Made a mistake. I thought I said Bailey because her name starts with a B. Can you guess? I think you can. Number one is the man. Becky Lynch is number one in the 2019 Women's Rumble. That would give a lot of suspense, a lot of excitement for the whole match to see. Is Becky going to make it to the end? Number two, to take on Becky. To start the women's 2019 Royal Rumble, number two would be Dana Brooke. Number three, Naomi. I got a lot of names to read, so I'm going to go kind of quick. 
Number four, Lana. Number five, a surprise return. Probably only a one-time appearance. Number five is Melina. Melina. I'm sure she still looks good and is still in good shape. Bring her back for the Rumble WWE. Number five, Melina. Number six, part of NXT, Reina Gonzalez. Reina Gonzalez, good-looking talent, tall woman, kind of built like a monster. Number six, Reina Gonzalez. Number seven, NXT women, a woman's talent from NXT. Number seven, Vanessa Bourne. Number eight. Uh, who is this? Aaliyah, number eight from NXT. She's basically an NXT jobber. Number eight, Aaliyah. Number nine. I'm not a fan of the Bellas, but I would put her in it. Number nine, Nikki Bella. I'm not putting Brie in it. That's for damn sure. Because Brie is Brie Botch Bella. Number nine, Nikki Bella. Number ten, first ever. Women's Rumble match, her debut at the Royal Rumble, or her first Royal Rumble appearance. Number 10, Nikki Cross. By the way, uh, Nikki Cross lasts pretty long in the Rumble. I'll get to that soon. She lasts towards the end. Number 11, Ember Moon. Number 12, Carmella. Number 13, Mickey James. Number 14, Liv Morgan. Number 15, surprise return. One-time appearance, Maurice. Number 16, Sonya Deville. Number 17, Bailey. By the way, Bailey lasts really long also to the end. Number 18, after Bailey, Sasha Banks, her friend. Yes, they were in a tag match earlier, but... They can still be a part of another match. That's why I put them in the Rumble. I love Bailey. Love Sasha. Number 19. NXT current UK Women's Champion Rhea Ripley. Number 20. Nia Jax. Number 21. Also a part of NXT UK. One of my favorites. Tony Storm. Number 22. Lacey Evans. Number 23, from NXT, Shayna Baszler. Number 24, Mandy Rose. Number 25, Deanna Perrazzo. Number 26, Alicia Fox. Number 27, Billy Kay. Number 28, Bianca Belair. From NXT, number 29 is Peyton Royce. She's not from NXT. I meant 28. Bianca Belair is from NXT. Number 30. Again, number 29 is Payne Royce. Number 30 from NXT, Io Shirai. Got to put her in there because she's the best in the world. So now down to the final four. Let's go down to the final four in the 2019 Women's Royal Rumble. The final four would be Bailey. Nikki Cross. Oh, no. Did I mess up? I know I got Becky number one. I got to take out... Uh, I'm going to take out Nia Jax. <laughs> I got uh, uh, some editing. I'm taking out Nia Jax at number 20, and I'm putting in Charlotte Flair. So Charlotte Flair is number 20. I made a mistake, but I just fixed it. So the top, the final four left. Nikki Cross, Bailey, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch are the final four women left in the ring. Who's gone? The fourth, or out of the final four, who's gone first is Bailey. And then Nikki Cross. It's down to Becky and Charlotte Flair. The final two left in the 2019 Women's Royal Rumble. Who wins? Well, they both win. 
They both go over the top rope. A lot of people, I'm probably not the first to say this or come up with it. But I just don't see any other way to fantasy book it. I just don't want to book one winner. So there's co-winners. Sasha, not Sasha, Charlotte. Charlotte and Becky win. They both go over the top rope at the same time. So they are both announced as co-winners of the 2019 Women's Rumble. Maybe a lot of you don't like this finish. A lot of you are pissed off. Probably saying the man, Becky, should win. Becky deserves a win. Becky should be by herself, alone, in the ring as a sole winner. Sorry. I'm booking Charlotte and Becky as co-winners. Don't like it. I don't give a rat's ass. It's my show. I'll book what I want. And I'm probably not the first to say that. That I that there should be co-winners. So Becky and Charlotte Flair are the co-winners of the 2019 Women's Royal Rumble. After the match, they get on the microphone. To Renee Young or Charlie Caruso. And they say they both want Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania 35. They both want Ronda for the title. And because they picked Ronda means they both go to Raw. Both of them go to Monday Night Raw. So Charlotte, Becky are your co-winners of the 2019 Women's Royal Rumble. Now let's go back to a world title match before the men's rumble. WWE Championship on the line. Daniel Bryan defends against Mustafa Ali, not AJ Styles. Because I'm kind of tired of seeing AJ and Daniel. Even though they'll have a really good match and I'll enjoy it. Daniel Bryan, Mustafa Ali in an I quit match. I quit match. Daniel Bryan wins, retains a WWE championship. So now let's fantasy book the men's 30-man over-the-top rope 2019 Royal Rumble match. Number one is Seth freaking Rollins. In my opinion, Seth Rollins is the best wrestler in the world right now, in my opinion. Number one, Seth Rollins. Number two, number two would be Drew McIntyre. Number three, Adrande C. Almas or Almas. Number four, Nakamura. Number five, Rusev. Number six, making his Rumble debut in the Royal Rumble. Number six, EC3. Number seven. AOP's Razor. Number eight, Bobby Roode. Number nine, Bray Wyatt. Uh, that guy's been off TV a long time. Get him to show up in the Rumble. Number 10, make his Rumble debut in the Royal Rumble. Number 10, Lars Sullivan. And he has a damn good show. Number 11, The Miz, number 12, The Big Show, number 13, Booker T, surprise appearance by Booker T, number 14, Luke Harper, number 15, another legend, surprise appearance, Jake the Snake Roberts, number 16, the best in the world, not CM Punk, the best in the world, number 16, Shane McMahon. By the way, Shane McMahon tosses and throws out number 11, The Miz. Number 17, Jeff Hardy. Number 18, D- uh, I almost said Dean Ambrose. Number 18, Cedric Alexander. Number 19, put some 205 Live guys in it. I would like to see that. Number 19, Lindsay Dorado from 205 Live. 
Number 20, Drew Gulak. Number 21, Kurt Angle. Number 22, Dean Ambrose. Number 23, AJ Styles. Number 24, John Cena. Number 25, Big E. Number 26, Dolph Ziggler. 27, Gold Dust. 28, Apollo Crews. Number 29, Elias. And number 30, Titus O'Neil. But he does not slide under the ring this time. Hopefully he doesn't. Even though it was hilarious. That was damn embarrassing for him. But I'm, he jokes about it now. So the final. The final five. I'm going to give you the final five. Left in the 2019 Royal Rumble. Number five would be Elias. Number four left. Well, Elias is thrown out, so we're down to four now. The final four are Lars, John Cena, Drew McIntyre, and Seth Rollins. My winner, the winner, my winner that I fantasy booked for the 2019 Royal Rumble, Seth freaking Rollins wins the 2019 Royal Rumble. I think he has to. I don't see anybody else that should. It's either Seth or Drew McIntyre, in my opinion, that should win. Lars, if Lars won, I would be shocked. If Lars went to WrestleMania to take on Brock, that would really shock me. I'd be okay with it, but it would shock me. So again, the final five were Elias, Lars, John Cena, Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins, the last man standing, the winner of the 2019 Royal Rumble, Seth freaking Rollins. He burns it down. He burned it down in the Rumble. He was number one. He lasted up the whole entire Rumble to show us why he is basically the best in the world, in my opinion. So Seth Rollins, your men's winner. For the women, Becky and Charlotte. Hope you enjoyed my fantasy booking of the 2019 Royal Rumble pay-per-view. How would you fantasy book it? Who would you have win the two Rumble matches? Tell me who you would book to win in the comments. Leave your comments and tell me who you would want to win or have win. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. Bye for now, everybody.